Question 1 of the mini midterm number 1. In the circuit below this one, determine the current Ix, the current in the branch on the far right, and also the power absorbed by element O1, this element, in the branch on the far left. Power absorbed by several elements is also shown, 32 watts absorbed, 48 watts delivered, and 40 watts absorbed. You may assume, as you did in the assignment, that elements in the same branch share the same current. So there is a branch between this node and that node. Those two elements have the same current. The current in this element is 4ix. We know from Telegin's theorem that the sum of all powers in this circuit is going to be is 0. If we write uh, that expression, we'll have an equation with one unknown only ix. Let's write that equation. We begin with the power in this source. It's delivered power negative. The voltage is 12 times 4ix. That is 48ix. That is the power in this source. And this one, well, the current is falling like so, from left to right. So this element is absorbing power. The power is written down as positive. Positive, this voltage is 5 times 4ix, that is 20ix. Positive, that is this one. Power, 32 watts, minus 48 watts, plus 40 watts here. Plus the power here. This element is absorbing power by the polarities and directions. And that power is 20 times ix. 20 ix. That has to be equal to 0. From there, we can solve for ix. So of course, you look at that and you say, well, negative 48 plus 20 plus 20 that uh, 40 and you add all of that and you come to the conclusion that ix is what? 3 amps, right? 3 amps. ix is 3 amps and you can write it here. 3 amps. However, let me erase this because we have a powerful calculator that is our sidekick in this course. Let's use it. 48 change sign. Instead of typing ix, I'm going to call the unknown x. It's easier to type. I could type ix, but I'm going to use x because the calculator is set to work with x as an unknown. I could also train the calculator to know that my unknown is ix, but I'm not going to do that. That plus 20 times ix, which we are representing the letter x, plus 32. And all of that is equal to 0, so I highlight everything that I'm going to equate to 0. That is zero. The equation is ready. Enter. It's on the stack, and we're ready to solve that. And then we solve it. We say, "Hey, symbolic solver, solve for x. The current is three amps, as we said before. And I can write that this is three amps. And the power. Well, the power in this element is twenty times i x. That is twenty times three is sixty watts. And that is the solution of the first question." Let's go for the solution of the second question. Let's read it. The current Ix, this one, and the voltage Vt, this one, at the box element on the right of the figure, this element, current and voltage, is given in the figure. What is the total charge Q that has flowed from the top to the bottom of the element on the right between 5 seconds and 8 seconds? between these two points in time, and also what is the total energy absorbed by the same element in the same period of time. Enter your answer with three digits in the, f in, in the boxes. Okay, the maximum current M is 7 amps, so let me write for this type of exam, this is 7 amps. Well, finding the charge delivered by that current to this box is straightforward, right? Because we remember that current was defined as the rate of change of the charge that flows from the top to the bottom with respect to time. So we can compute the charge as the integral 
of the current. That is, as the area under the current curve. We want the charge between 5 and 8. What we want is the area of, under the curve, under the current curve between 5 and 8. That is, the area of this little triangle. That is, 3 times 7, 21 divided by 2. And that is your charge, 10.5 coulombs. And now we go for the energy. We remember that power is a rate of change of the energy fed into the device with respect to time. So we can find the energy as the area under the power curve. If we know the power as a function of time between 5 and 8, we can compute what is the energy delivered to this box on the right hand side. But who is the power? Well, the power is VI for this device. So what we need is we need to multiply VI as functions of times. Integrate, and that is the energy that we need to find, the energy supplied between 5 and 8 seconds. Who is the voltage? Here it is. What is the current? Well, the current is just this function of time, a straight line, this one, this one right here. Chuck, 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 chuck. We know how to write uh, that function of time. Is a straight line that has a slope of negative 7 divided by 3. And that straight line cuts the vertical axis in B. What is the value of B? Okay, and B would be just 8 that multiplies 7 over 3. Okay, 7 over 3 times 8. Good. So that is B. That means that we can write that current as a function of time as mt plus B. That is the expectation. This is the M. In short, that current can be written as, um, and let's factor out 7 over 3. This is 8 minus T. Those are amps. So we see this is our current as a function of time between 5 and 8. All we have to do is between 5 and 8, we multiply 7 thirds 8 minus t, that's the current, times the voltage, 10 exponential of negative t over 2. And that should be the energy we're looking for between 5 and 8. Let's do that with our calculator. Well, sure. Let me erase the previous value. We go to the equation writer and we enter the expression. And the expression is the current we set is 7 divided by 3. Select the whole thing, multiply by open parenthesis, and that would be 8 minus t, but I'm going to use x as my unknown. That is the current. And all of that I'm going to multiply times 10, the exponential of um, negative t divided by 2. What is that? Well, this is current, that is voltage, and that is the expression of power as a function of time represented by letter x. Let me highlight the whole thing because I need to integrate that power with respect to time. I click integrate that. Between what and what? Between 5 and 8. With respect to what? With respect to time that is represented by the letter x in our convention, uh, that integral will give us what is the energy supplied to the box between 5 and 8 seconds. We click Evaluate, and that is the exact value. You say, well, but I want really a number, so we say Give me the numerical value of that, 554. That is the energy, 554 joules, and that is the value that we enter here, 554 in joules. Thank you very much.